light is out. Wow, I wonder who's responsible for that? Who's responsible for this? Who's responsible for this? Who's responsible for this? I'm glad you asked. Hi, I'm John Kroll, President-elect of the Florida Chapter of the American Public Works Association. And today we'd like to show you a little bit about public works and how it relates to our infrastructure. Infra what? I think I used to wear one of those. No, infrastructure is like Disney behind the scenes. You're absolutely right, April. But let's take it a step farther and talk about the infrastructure as it relates to our cities and counties. Now every structure out there, whether it happens to be a building, a road, a bridge, or even the pipes in the ground are a part of our infrastructure. Now the people that have the responsibility for the design, construction, maintenance, or even replacement of these items work for a department called Public Works. Now the size and scope of a Public Works department depends mainly on the size of the city or county or, and what they have to maintain. Now there are several divisions within Public Works each with their own area of responsibility. And let's talk about some of these divisions. And the first one would be administration. The public works director is a top level position within a city or county. The person in this position is responsible for the overall administration of the entire department and provides direction to all the different divisions through various means of communication. The next one's engineering. The engineering division is generally responsible for the design, construction, and inspection for all projects within its jurisdiction. In fact, many projects are designed in-house using the latest in computer technology. Complete and accurate drawings of all the city or county infrastructure, blueprints, and maps are generated and maintained within this division. In many cases, they have their own survey crews to accurately map the land. And property maintenance. Carpenters, plumbers, electricians, and other highly technical individuals work for this division. They are charged with minor construction along with the maintenance and repair for all the buildings the city or county owns. In many instances, they provide the janitorial service to keep all the facilities clean. And fleet operation. This division is responsible for all vehicles and equipment the city or county owns. They write the specification for all purchases prepare new vehicles and equipment for use by specific user departments and provide all the maintenance to these vehicles and equipment. They are also responsible for the disposal through public auction of the equipment when it has reached the end of its life cycle. The technicians are highly trained and many are ASE certified. This is the same nationally recognized classification that many technicians in your local dealership are required to have. Stormwater this division provides construction and maintenance for all stormwater projects. This includes the maintenance of ditches, retention ponds, and stormwater drains. The use of many pieces of specialized equipment, such as TV inspection and large trucks capable of cleaning sewers, are common occurrences in this area. Utilities. This is normally one of the largest divisions. It incorporates several different areas and is responsible for all the water and wastewater functions. The water side of the division has the responsibility to provide portable drinking water to all the homes and businesses. This is done through monitoring and processing other water to strict state and federal standards. Chemists continually monitor the quality of the water to ensure conformity to these strict standards. Employees in this division perform various functions, including plant maintenance, laying repairing of water pipes, pump repair or replacement, and other related tasks. The wastewater side of the division has the responsibility to get the water from your house or business back to the treatment plant. There it is processed where the solids are turned into sludge for disposal, while the liquid portion is called reuse or effluent water, and it is sent back out through special pipes to be used for irrigation. Employees here lay pipes, repair lift stations, and these are large pumps that help return the wastewater to the treatment plant, and provide maintenance to all the lines. High-tech equipment such as TV inspection and large trucks with high-pressure pumps that can clean an entire section of pipe by running nozzles through them are utilized. Streets. This division is responsible for the maintenance and repair of all the streets and roads in a city or county. This includes preventive maintenance of road surfaces, actual resurfacing of roads, patching of potholes, and making the cuts in roads for spot replacement or utility construction. In many instances, they also construct, maintain, and repair sidewalks and bike paths. Solid waste? 
This division is responsible for the curbside garbage and trash collection from homes and businesses. In addition, many cities and counties own and operate their own landfills. These must meet stringent state and federal requirements designed to protect our environment. Another area solid waste is normally responsible for is recycling. This helps our environment by reusing many products that used to be thrown away as trash. Traffic engineering. Traffic engineering is responsible for all aspects of traffic control. They install and provide maintenance of traffic signals and crosswalk indicators. In addition, they fabricate and install traffic control signs along with the responsibility of striping and marking the pavement in our streets and roads. Parks. The parks Department is responsible for the aesthetics of all the parks and common areas, including the median areas in the city or county. They mow the lawns, trim the trees, plant the flowers, and provide all the general maintenance necessary to make the parks an enjoyable place to visit. In some cases, they mow DOT right-of-ways and clear abandoned lots. And that's basically what a public works department is all about. How are these people trained to do all these different jobs? There's an organization called the American Public Works Association that not only provides training, but they also have annual conferences and trade shows. Trade show? How can I be involved? Why don't the two of you come over to the state convention with me? And I can show you all this. Hi, John. Oh, hi, Mel. How are you today? Fine. I wanted to come by and find out about this trade that you told me about. Well, come on. I'll show you what we have to offer. As you can see, we have many different exhibitors from all over the state. This is the opportunity for our members to see all the new equipment and technology as it pertains to their individual needs. Do you think I could get a booth? Well, we are pretty full, but let me see what we can do for you. Hi, Peggy. I'm so glad you could come. Good morning, John. How are you? It's really interesting that training and education you mentioned earlier. Oh, well, the Florida chapter of the American Public Works Association has a rich tradition in education. We offer college scholarships at both the chapter and branch levels. And as a matter of fact, we're awarding some of those scholarships at this meeting. Would you like to see that taking place? I'd really love to. Oh, come on. Do you offer any training during the course of the year, John? Uh, yes, we hold periodic seminars on various subjects. You know, in the past two years, we've gone high-tech and show satellite downlinks throughout the state. That real sounds really neat. What else do you offer? Well, we also have schools called Public Works Academies. Here, Public Works employees have the opportunity to learn about many different aspects of public works. This makes them better informed and trained employees and also improves their chances for career advancement. Does the APWA have anything to do with emergency management? Absolutely. We work together to provide first response in the event of any type of major emergency, such as Hurricane Andrew. We provide the coordination, people, and equipment to help restore the affected areas back to order. What kind of training do you have here at this meeting? Well, we offer many different seminars for our members to stay on top of different public work subjects while having the opportunity to earn CEUs. Who can join HEWA? Any employee in the public works field can join our regular membership, and any business or vendor can join our associate membership. Did Matt join? Yes, he did, and we even found him a space at our trade show. Thank you, John. Oh, you're very welcome, Peggy. And I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to show something about Public Works and the American Public Works Association. If you'd like more information or have any questions, please contact your local Public Works Department or call APWA at 1-800-848-2792. installed as officers of the Florida chapter of the American Public Works Association for 1997.